Okay, this is a quick reference video for my clients. This is a Chameleon 3. I'm going to be going over some basic functions, turning it on, showing you the contact indication on the collar, turning it off. It's just a quick swipe. It's the same for on and off. Make sure you don't stay there too long. The bottom of the remote, in this case the K9, also has a magnet. And you can bring the magnet to that little red uh, notch on the collar. This is the finger kick. It's a Bluetooth ring that is adjustable to any size finger. This operates the remote without you having to have the remote in your hands as long as the remote is within vicinity. As you can see here, the finger kick activates the collar. And because it's on increasing or rising stem, I have access to all the levels. Now here I'm going to turn on the remote, which in this case I'm pressing the button in the center. And to turn it off, just dial it all the way down. So to turn it on, press any button that turns it on. And to turn it off, dial it down below zero until the screen is off. The back of the remote has a charging port. And we can also charge the the collar through this charging cradle. So collar coated. We can also charge it with a wireless charging pad, and this also works for the remote. Now here I'm quickly going over all the buttons. This has four buttons total. These are four different settings. The button in the middle will change the mode. If I hold it and press it, it'll go through the different modes. Again, this is just a reference video for clients. Um, but if you have a rough idea of how to operate this, this will also be helpful. And I'm showing here the rising stem setting, which just by pressing that button, uh, I can hold it and it'll go to all the levels. And this will also work with the finger kick. Now I'm pairing it up to the Doggify app. We're going to find the remote, the transmitter canine. We're going to hit that. This will ask you for a code, which your remote will give you a code. And now your remote is paired to your phone through the Doggify app. You can go into the app and customize every aspect of the remote right through the app. This can be a little bit complicated. Um, but really it's it's super simple it's just factory setting you don't really have to mess with it this here shows you all the buttons and it tells you every single mode and if you do mess with it accidentally you can always bring it back to factory settings as you saw on that previous screen now we're going to add another device in this case the chameleon collar so it tells you pass a magnet through. This pairs up the collar to the Doggify app for further customization. And now this is the collar. It gives you the temperature, more settings, more customized features, which you can, again, also reset to factory settings. This is the each level you can customize each level to whatever you want gives you the temperature it also gives you contact indication through the app so as I touch the contact points you see that light turns green when I don't touch it it goes red this lets you know at all times whether your dog has contact or not and that's pretty much it for the canine transmitter and the Chameleon 3 in the Doggify app.